Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to the new module, the module 13. It is on transformations and symmetry. And we will look into the first lesson that is reflections. This is a very short and easy lesson. Let us look into the learning objectives. It is only one learning objective that is to use rigid motions to reflect figures on the coordinate uh, coordinate plane and to describe the effects of reflections. We will see this in a while. Now the keywords are reflection, quadrilateral. Reflection is something, you know what is reflection? That if you stand in front of a mirror, you get yourself reflected. That is reflection. Quadrilateral means a four-sided figure, like a square or a triangle, um, sorry, not a triangle, sorry. Quad is four, four side. Rectangle is a quadrilateral or any other shape. So it can be any shape for that matter. Now let me just, this is a quadrilateral, okay? Now about reflection, a reflection can be done in different lines, vertical line, horizontal line, and y is equal to x. Now over here, it can be any vertical line. So now this is the x-axis, y-axis. Now imagine they ask you to reflect along um, a vertical line, say y, x is equal to 2. So you need to draw a line over here. And now imagine there is a figure like this. This must be reflected over here. It will be over here, something like this. If it is y, uh, horizontal line, now imagine this one, this figure will be reflected up over here sorry that's very bad now it'll be something like this i hope you get it okay again it's bad but just uh for your understanding sake i hope you understood the point this distances will be the same we will see a problem now you'll understand easily and last one over here when it is y equals x now what is x is equal to y line y equals x means if y is one x is also one if you have point 2, x and y will be the same points, 3, 3, 4, 4. It's always a 45 degree line or a straight line. So this is a x equals y line. Now what happens is if you have a figure like this over here, that will be reflected. Okay, I'm drawing tough figures. Okay, I'll draw an easy figure that is a circle. So it will be reflected over here. Okay, so that's the thing. But anyways, we will see problems and you will understand much better in the coming sections. Now here we have a problem, reflection in a horizontal or vertical line. Consider quadrilateral RSTV with the vertices at R is 2,1, S is 2,4, T is 5,4 and V is 5,3. We need to graph the image of the quadrilateral RSTV under each reflection. Determine the coordinate of the image. In the first case, they have asked to reflect it along y equals 1, minus 1. How do we do this? It is very, very crucial and important that you draw a figure. So now, graph the quadrilateral. Over here, how do we graph it? R, what is R? 2, 1. 2 is over here. The scale of 1 unit is 2 units over here. Scale of uh, 1 block over here is 2 units. So 2, 1. So 1 will be over here in the middle. This is the point. S is 2, 4. This is the point. T is 5, 4. And lastly, we have 5, 3. So this is how we get it. This is 5 over here. This is the original image. Now we need to reflect this image along where y equals 1, minus 1. So draw a line at minus 1. This is minus 1. Now you must make sure whatever is this distance, this is one, two units, right? To, to this point R, that must be drawn over here. There must be two units, one point. And how much distance is from this line to S? Not four, and from this line, it will be four plus one, five. So it will be from here to five. One, two, three, four, five. This is another point. Same way over here, you need to translate, reflect it, reflection. So over here it is one, two, three, Four, so it is one, two, three, four, somewhere over here. And lastly, over here, one. So this will be in the middle, okay? So that will be the reflected image, something like that. 
I hope it's clear. Now, whenever you have transformed something or reflected something, you will have to give the dimension. See this uh, notations as R dash. R is reflected over here, so it's R dash. Then S dash, T dash, V dash. This is how we get it. So that is the answer. And please note the coordinates of the reflected uh, image. R dash is 2 minus 3, 2 comma minus 3 y, 2 and minus 3. S dash is 2 comma uh, minus 6. Same with the T and V. You must see the coordinate. F 5 comma minus 6 and lastly 5 comma minus 5. That's the answer. Same question, same figure, but now we are reflecting it along x is equal to minus 2. I would highly recommend everyone pause the video now and solve it by yourself and then we will do it together. Let us see this now. I hope you have paused the video and tried it by yourself. Now we need to graph this. We have done this already, graphing. Then next one, where is y minus 1? It's over here. Okay, it's uh, x is equal to minus 2. I'm sorry, I was very sloppy in my presentation. Yeah, so x is equal to minus 2. This is the thing. This is the question. So what? this is the point. Now you need to reflect this figure back over here. So let's see. How much is the distance? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 centimeter over here in this graph. 1 block is 2 units. So 2, 4. Same thing. 2, 4. This is 1 point. Next one. 1, 2, 3 from here, right? So I'll just draw from here. However, whichever you can convenient with same line crucial down here it's one and two one and two and lastly we have over here it'll be somewhere over here. so those are the points of the reflected image now you can see the reflected images are uh, s dash t dash v dash r dash you need to write the coordinates please make sure see you can compare this the for the reflection along line x, sorry, this is x over here. x is equal to minus 2 over here. For x is equal to minus 2, remember here the y values don't change. What is the y value in this coordinate? Let, let's say r, r. x is 2, y is 1. See, it will be the same. x is different, but y will be the same. Same thing over here. All the y values. Even in the previous case, if you see, let's just quickly go over here. What happened? X values were the same, only the y value changed. Okay. Why? Because you are uh, reflecting along the uh, x axis, but y is equal to minus 1. So this is how we solve it. I hope this is clear. Uh, in the next section, we will see reflection along x, y line. The last type of problem in this lesson, it's only one object you in this lesson that is reflection. The second type uh, of reflecting is along the line x, y or y equals x. This is a real world problem where Viona, Vinona is designing a logo for her blog header. She graphs a figure on the coordinate plane and wants to reflect it in the y equals x uh, in the line y equals x to complete the basic shape of a logo design. What are the coordinates of the vertices of the image after reflection? Now here it will it will be really tricky if you're thinking for example. So this is the point. Now this will remain same because you're reflecting along over here. What about this point? It will be somewhere over here in the middle. This will be over here. So it's somewhere over here. And then over here we have this. So it'll be something like this. I hope you get it. Okay, that's a very bad uh, figure, but you can you can get the gist of it. So that'll be the figure, but it's very hard, isn't it? But the good news is, if you have a line reflected along, uh, if you have an image reflected along the line y equals x, you should just note down the coordinates. See, the coordinates are not mentioned, but note down the coordinates of the given figure first. So A is what? It is minus 2 comma 1. What is B? B is 1 comma 8. C is over here 1 comma 4. Say so it's 4 over here. And what about D? D is 4 comma 4. And lastly we have E is about 2 comma 2. Now what else? Just 
swap the places of x and y you will get the reflection what i mean is now if over here there is x at minus 2 and y at 1 you need to swap them change it'll be 1 comma minus 2 that is the answer that is the reflection of along y uh, y equals x along this line it will be like this but what is the coordinates it will be 1 comma minus 2 it is very hard and difficult see now we did the points i was not accurate enough but still we did the points approximately but the exact coordinates are easily found out by just swapping these now for b it will be b dash should be 8 comma 1 and compare it will be 8 and 1 the first one is a that is 1 and minus 2 1 and minus 2 yes c is 4 comma 1 so let's see 1 2 3 4 and 1 so this is how we can reflect it easily c dash is 1 2 3 4 and 1 d d dash should be the same point can you see over here it does not change why because x and y are the same thing so anytime you have x and y the same values it will be the same so this is how we can easily get the coordinates and if you have been given the graphs you can easily notice where it changes and everything and you can easily solve them up so that is it so that is the end of this lesson i hope you have found it useful uh, i kindly request you all if you have found this useful if you have found my videos and from it you do subscribe to my channel do like them like those videos and do share it with your friends i would greatly appreciate it and i thank all those who have subscribed so many hundreds of people i greatly appreciate it and thank you very much if you have any further questions regarding this topic or any other topic just put it down in the comment section and i will get back to you as soon as possible